With harvest season now in full swing, consumers are now snapping up fresh Georgia blueberries for their smoothies and pies. However, there will be less of them on the shelves this year as a late freeze in March that saw temperatures fall into the 20s wiped out more than half of the crop. We're happy to be here. This has been a tough year for the blueberry industry in Georgia, as most people know, and it's been published. We've lost probably over 60 to 70, 60 plus percent of the crop to the early freezes. The other uh, areas of Georgia, such as Clinch County, Bacon, and Applin County, uh, towards the east of here, were hit harder than we were. Freezing temperatures aren't the only obstacle these growers were forced to overcome this year, as untimely rain could also mean the potential for poor fruit quality. As we get into the June rainy season, uh, it becomes a different dance. The fruit is blue, it's ripening. If you get heavy rains, you get splits in the fruit. That creates opportunities for disease, it creates insect opportunities, so there's a lot of pressure on getting the harvest in. But getting that fruit off the bush as quickly as possible can be a daily balancing act as summer weather in Georgia can be unpredictable. As the day goes on today, you'll see pop-up showers and you never know where they'll show up and it can change the type. You, you may change from one variety of fruit to another depending on what's going fresh, what's going processed. <laughs> that's, that's the battle in June. The rains keep coming. You, you really don't want to see anything like a hurricane. A shower's fine but a one or two inch thunderstorm can be devastating to a field. It can really damage and split the fruit. We have to wait until the fruit dries and often that's difficult to do. If you get a rain on today, it could be two o'clock tomorrow before the fruit's dry. So that it's challenging to get it to go fresh. And often with the splits or the damage, we have to pick it like you see now. It's a little bit wet this morning and it's still gonna be, it'll be a processed berry for frozen but it'll make a good quality grade. It just won't be that fresh pack. Despite all of the challenges affecting the quantity, the quality still remains high. And the same can be said for the demand, which should benefit the growers price-wise, especially with all the shortages around the country. The quality has been overall pretty good this year. What we uh, And of course, with the packing sheds and the equipment we have, we're able to deliver a quality product. We can, uh, the machinery will extract soft fruit, damaged fruit, off color fruit. So we, we're able to, um, to deliver a good product to the consumer. The demand is very high because the crop is short. Uh, we, we've had a really good year as far as demand. It's just unfortunate that we lost some of our fruit to the early freeze. Reporting from Atkinson County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.